we uh, we have buttons, we have food. Uh, please help us out. PC is going to speak for about an hour. That's a great presentation. I hope you can see it. We had to kind of jerry rig our, our setup here. There's some missing equipment. Um, but, uh, and then we'll have about an hour for QA. Um, so we'll get started in just a minute. If you, if you want, you can go look at our cool buttons. We have buttons that say highly evolved. We have buttons that say, uh, what do they say? Um, go God. Go God with an exclamation mark. Exaltation. But we also have no God with an exclamation mark. Let's move on to the humans. Yeah, what is wrong with the humans? Well, your design doesn't really speak to your craftsmanship and your glory, so. Well, come on, PZ. You know I only had six days, right? Well, you have to invest substantially more time in these creatures if you want them to be a reflection. It's that bad, really? You have a blind spot in the eye. You mean, you see, because because she doesn't treat me right? I mean, uh, other people have said that. You're not the first no, 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 no. Not you. You have a, a blind spot in the eyes of the humanoids. Oh, well, yeah. I was just going to make the eye jiggle to, to compensate for that. That is so compelling. You're the all knowing, all powerful ruler of the universe. You can't even design an eye that lacks a blind spot? Well, where else am I going to put a blind spot? You don't need to have any blind spot. Well, that wouldn't be any fun. Is, is this even something you want to be doing? Well, yeah, I want some kind of intelligent life down there at some point. Well, if they're intelligent, they're going to be looking for some sign of craftsmanship. If you put these creatures down as is, you're going to look ridiculous. All right, look, I don't want to spend a lot of time on these things. I mean, the humanoids aren't even part of my ultimate plan. That happens like a billion years after they go away in the dinosaurs. I, I just wanted to put them down there to pass the time, you know, and provide some entertainment. Okay, well, then why are you putting resources into them? Well, because I thought I had to at least make some kind of effort, right? I don't. If, if you don't want to spend time on this project, but you have time to spare, we have a completely organic process that doesn't require any effort on your part. None? You won't have to lift a finger. Oh, I like this! So what are the downsides? Well, the process is very inefficient, but that's that's the price you pay. I can pay that price. But it does have some amazing side benefits. Yeah, okay, hit me. What are they? Well, the advantage of this particular algorithm is it just generates this explosion of different forms. You don't get just fish, you get squid, and I, I'm very excited about the potential of squid. <laughs> you get credit for an unbounded imagination and amazing creativity. Love it! You also get great sushi. This is great, so do they look anything like mine? I mean, what do they look like? I've run some simulations, so that you can see what they'll look like. Okay, well, a little hairier than mine, but, you know, that's okay. Homo, homo sapiens? What? That means wise man. So they're smarter than you? No, you know, you know how you name a small dog Goliath? <laughs> yeah, I think that's very funny. Are they self-aware? More like self-absorbers. But they can evolve, right? Well, and... only to a limited extent. The males can barely groom themselves. And the ones who can groom themselves end up getting attracted to other males. Oh, so it's not the And the design sense is limited to them and the ladies? And also to the Italians. Well, of course, the Italians. So you don't need me for any of this. No, you can say completely other. It's a, it's a much slower process, though. Well, what do I care? I mean, I've got all the time in the world. That's all I've got. Here's the problem that I see, though. At some point, these creatures are going to get much smarter, smart enough to look for signs of my craftsmanship again, and we're back to the same problem. Right? We'll have to think of some sign that you can add. Hmm. What could he do? Thank the Secular Student Alliance um, uh, a lot for putting this together. 
together. So um, PZ, if you don't know, he's a biologist at the University of Minnesota Morris, um, blogger on science and religion. And come together, or don't. He was voted in 2009 to be Black Humanist of the Year. I have to that's from the Humanist Society. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and, and PZ does, you know, so we speak on complexity and creation. So, give a big hand for PZ.